When you want to find elapsed time, you will have to subtract. For example, if you went to the aquarium at 9.10 a.m. and left at 1.40 p.m., you would have to subtract to find out how much time you spent there. If you had to wait in a long, slow-moving line to purchase a popular new video game and got in the line at 9.15 and left at 10.07, you would have to subtract times to see how long you were in line. To subtract time, you treat each unit separately. First, you are going to subtract the minutes. 45 minus 12 is 33 minutes. Now you will deal with the hours. 7 hours minus 3 hours is 4 hours. So 7 hours 45 minutes minus 3 hours 12 minutes is 4 hours 33 minutes. This time you are going to subtract 6 hours 40 minutes from 8 hours 25 minutes. Start with the minutes. Oh no, there is a problem. In order to do the subtraction, you are going to have to borrow one hour and convert it into minutes. If you borrow an hour from eight, this will give you seven hours and 60 plus 25 minutes. Now you are subtracting six hours and 40 minutes from 7 hours and 85 minutes. This will give you 1 hour and 45 minutes. To review borrowing hours that are required for the subtraction, remember that 1 hour is 60 minutes, so you will have 1 hour less, but 60 minutes more. You are converting 1 hour into 60 minutes.